Thank you for calling the Voluntary Return Service. We can discuss your departure plans, assist with flights and travel documents. If your call is related to anything other than voluntary return, please hang up and contact the following phone number, 0300-790-6268. All calls are recorded for quality and monitoring purposes. Please note we are currently experiencing high demand for our service, which is resulting in a delay in responding to new applications and callers. You can apply online for our service by visiting www.gov.uk slash return dash home dash voluntarily slash apply. Please note that in order to apply online, you will need a UK address and an email address. If you have already applied to our service, your application will be held and dealt with in date order. The average time to process an application where you require home office assistance is currently around 12 weeks. Please do not contact us until a caseworker is assigned to support your return and they have made contact with you. Please do ensure that you are only applying to voluntarily leave the UK. Guys, since the Dover Job Centre doesn't want you to support my application for the universal credit and, uh, you know, although I'm British, I've got a British passport, I've decided that I wasn't born in this country, this is what they are claiming. And so they are trying to say that I should not be getting support from the government. I decided to go back to the place where I was born. So I'm calling the get help to return home if you are a migrant in the UK. Because, you know, I really get the impression that I'm not British by their own views. And they've been creating a lot of bureaucracy and a lot of, a lot of obstacles to pretty much make me homeless i'm going to play their own game so you know yes i know i wasn't born in this country and i know that they want me out of this country so i'm happy to go so i'm calling them right now and i will agree with going back to the place where i was born and then hopefully they will send me back so let's see how this is going to unfold by the way the economic situation in this country is terrible. The government, the Conservative Party, Boris Johnson, Hishi Sunak are the ones to be blamed. And I've been getting a lot of hate and the impression that they are trying to blame people like me. So, you know, if you have rights to live in different countries, I think this is about the right time for us to exit possibly never come back because now this government will start to organize actually they already started a long time ago a massive campaign against people like us because that is their strategy to blame the wrong people the thing is they have failed us but not earning sufficient amount of income to survive in a recession like that. On top of that, by Parker, black indigenous people of color and Asians will suffer a lot more under an economic recession here in this country. And this is gonna go on for many years. So this is the situation. This government didn't fix the economy. They've been blaming the wrong people. They've been applying the wrong economic policies to benefit only themselves not really the British population. But now, since they are all saying that because I wasn't born in this country, I should go back to where I was born, and I'm doing that right now, I'm more than happy to return back. I think I've had enough, you know, so I've tried to come to this country and return and establish myself and build up a connection and then hopefully take it with me in the future. But, you know, why would you stick around people that are just trying to kind of bring you down and trying to be better than you when they are not? Why would I stick around people who are racist and who discriminated against my people? Why would you be facing such a terrible treatment in a country which is pretending to be the best, but economically it's not doing really, really well. So these people in government are not attracting investment, and not only that, 
they will make sure that every single intelligent individual in this country will flee because it's literally unbearable. I forgot about my passport. They might gonna ask for my passport number. I'd like to talk to you about me returning to the country where I was born, although I'm, I've got a British passport. Right, okay. okay. And um, why are you wishing to go back to Britain? Is it just for family or...? Um, the what situation is? is that the job centre in Dover refused to support my social benefit, yeah. benefit application, my universal credit. The case is at the court right, right now. But I've decided that, that okay. I just don't feel that I'm welcomed in this country anymore. So I would love to return to where I was born. And you know, it's been a lot of injustices and discrimination that I've been facing here by the council, by the job center, and you know, a lot of institutions and they've been applying delay techniques, not cooperating with the law. So I just feel and need to be in a place where I will be safe. And I'm also concerned for my security in this country as well because I've been potentially targeted by the far right as well. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Do you hold um, a valid travel document? Um, yes, a British passport. I, have, I hold a valid British passport. This is the only passport that's valid right now. Right. The only reason I ask these questions is because, first of all, because you're actually a British citizen, so officially, obviously you've got a British passport, you're not here on like a visa or a spouse visa or sponsored by anybody or on a work permit, you're actually here because you've got the right to be in the UK, okay? Okay, I understand that. This is the reason I'm trying to call you to see if there's a possibility because the job centre is not supporting my application, right? I understand that, but for us, if you've got citizenship for um, the UK, okay, okay, we would not be able to assist you because it's the services for people who are illegally here or don't have the right to be in the UK for it, if they've put in an application and obviously that's been, um, you know, withdrawn or refused or, you know, they're not uh, rejected. Those are the people, obviously, who don't have status to be in the UK who are the people that we would facilitate to return back um, to, obviously, their home country. But because you have, um, obviously, you know, British passport and the right to be here, we would not be able to facilitate that departure for you because you also, not only that, but you hold your travel document because, like I said, you've got actual right to be in the UK. It's a decision you're making, obviously, to return back. That's fine, you can go back, but we would not be able to facilitate that departure for you. Okay, I understand. I know it's not your fault and you don't design and build the regulations. I completely understand it. Thanks for the information. Yeah. But I, I want you well, to ask... Yeah. Can I ask you if there is absolutely no other way with the council, with the job centre as well? Obviously, that's not my um, field or my area, so I wouldn't be able to give you any, obviously, advice regarding that. And um, what I would be able to suggest is probably, you know, try and speak to someone um, who may be able to help, like the Citizen Advice Bureau or something, to see if they can give you any guidelines or advice or help on which way to go about it if, you, you know, you're not getting that support even though you've, you know, got a British passport to be here. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, you're having, you're facing difficulties. If there's any support, they could provide your guidelines on how to go about things. But unfortunately, I, I don't have that information that I could share or give you and that knowledge um, to be, help you, help, be able to help you in that field, unfortunately. No problem at all. Thank you very much for the information. Have a nice day. Thank you for your call. Bye-bye. What I'm talking about. They don't want to support me with the universal credit. Now I called the number that supposedly would send me back to where I was born because, you know, a lot of people claiming that I wasn't born in this country. 
then I've got no rights, that I shouldn't be here, that I shouldn't go back home, and this is what I want to do right now. But they're not going to send me home because technically they're saying that I'm I'm British. I've got all rights to be here. And then, you know, this is exactly what she say, said right now. And so because I have rights to be here. So again, they're saying that I have no rights to be here. I have no rights to claim social benefits. But now they're saying that I have rights to be here. Goes to show, like, you know, you go to the job center, they treat you like a second class citizen. But then you call a landline that supposedly would send you back to where you are from technically what you were born even though i think that i'm british it was so many people saying that i shouldn't be here i shouldn't getting benefits i shouldn't do this i shouldn't do that but there you go i cannot go home right they're not gonna send me home so this is the situation so there you go according to the government i have rights to be here <laughs> technically but more than anything this is being a research you know i just wanted to know okay they don't want me to be here, so I want to go home. So let's call them, ask for help. But they're not going to send me home.